What are you going to tell all those people? Mm, hello. Tell them to stay cool. Here to me. Yeah. Thank you, Riley. Welcome to Guns and Chicken Strips. I'm your host, James. What's happening? Nothing much, you may ask. I was just sitting here in my American parachute pants in front of my wall of guns watching a movie about the Boston Tea Party. That's right, America. Working on my trash desk here. But I am currently making up a rig for fishing, being that spawn is upon us. And, you know, all the guys, they wear chesties with their mics on the lapel. I have that right here. A lapel mic. A very nice lapel mic, actually. A road lapel mic. That would work perfectly. But I'm trying... I like to be different. So I'm trying to come up with my own way. I don't want to be the same as anybody else. So I'm trying to be original. So I've come up with... A new idea. Here at Guns of Chicken Strips, we like to invent things. And I don't know if I've invented this or not, but I'm coming up with a way to mount this road mic on to this chesty right here. And I'm using the five, which is complicated because the five can't just plug in or a small adapter. This giant adapter right here, if you can see that, is the 5 adapter. So in order to use any sort of external microphone, I have to use this adapter as well. So I have got it mounted on the front of the chesty. And now I have to figure out a way to get this mount, which I have painted OD green, my favorite color, onto that chesty. So I'm going to sit here and thought a while and blankly stare because that's what I do to get thoughts into my big old empty skull bouncing around. Swiggy this hoodie, I'm coming for that booty. Swiggy this hoodie, I'm coming for that booty. Yep. Swiggy this hoodie, I'm coming for that booty. On my way to steal your girl. Swiggy this Dr. Pepper break. Swiggy this hoodie, I'm coming for that booty. Swiggy this hoodie, I'm coming. Okay, our first attempt, first thought came to the mind. Mount it on top on this thing. Drill a hole right here, and then take the mount off the top of this beast. Huh. Didn't even hit me. I've already got one of these mounts with a mount on top of it. All I gotta do is turn it sideways. I'm a genius. <laughs> That's smart. All right, let's get that going. Boom, screwed it back on there, it's good to go. Well, ladies and gentlemen out there in Guns and Chick Strip Land, I think I figured it out. Boom, boom. Look at that, adapter, camera holder, camera, microphone. I know it's a serious setup here, but look at that. Slick, doesn't get in the way of anything. Hand motions. I just want to be able to hear what's going on all around me. Those lapel mics, they pick up amazing sound. This right here will pick up other sounds. People talking. So I think this is a good idea. Let me know what you think in the comments. But I'm going to be rocking this thing everywhere. Just for, for giggles, you know. Just because to get re people's reactions. But also just in case something goes down. I wants to get it on camera. Okie dokie. We are getting up. All geared up, ready to go. Got Alamo Joe. Gotta get him all. Get him a nice comfy suit to wear when I carry him around. AKA holster action. So, let's get these lights turned off. Let's head to Waxahachie. While cruising out here to Waxahachie. 
I don't know what it is, but I just puts me in such a good mood being out outside, man. Being inside. Yesterday, I pretty much just stayed inside all day. Went and got a haircut, as you can see, got all slicked up. Just feels good. Makes you feel good. You gotta feel that fresh Texas air. Great country we live in. Don't y'all agree? Tell you what. In the comments, why don't we put what state we're from and what you love best about your state. Yeah, that sounds good. In the comment, in the comments, what state you're from and what you love best about your state. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah, right now we're going to run out here at Waxahachie. This dude's going to show me a couple holsters, a couple of samples of what he's got. Pretty excited that Alamo Joe's going to be happy. I don't think I'll, everybody keeps telling me to open carry Alamo Joe. The thing is, I'm... I'm just not an open carry guy. I'd rather carry concealed. I don't, I may do it like out in the country, like if we go to dinner or something, open carry it, but I, won't, I probably won't ever open carry it like out and about. It just, it's too much attention. Firearms, to me, they're not really made to, I just, I just don't really like open carry, you know. It's cool and everything if you want to do it, but I've said many times, who's going to be the tar bad guy's target? They walk in a building and a bunch of dudes carrying open carry, that or that one guy carrying open carry, or the unknown concealed. So, I'm going to stick to concealed. Nothing against you guys like open carry. It's just not for me. I am pulling into the place where I'm meeting this gentleman from his holster company. He contacted me through Instagram when I said I needed a holster and said, hey, I work for a holster company. Maybe I'll hook you up. I said, all right, we'll test it out and see. So if I like the product, you will definitely be hearing about it. You'll see it, but once I figure out if I like it or not, I'll, I'll let you know. But he seems like a pretty cool dude. Just met up with a gentleman, and so far I got good, good vibes from him. This company seems pretty, pretty cool, man. They're uh, owned by a local fire, uh, local fireman. Seem like really good dudes. I might. We'll see what happens in the future with working with them. Still waiting on. I haven't actually seen any of their products, so we'll see. I will. If I like the product, I will definitely be blowing it up on here. They are not paying me for this or anything. I just, I like giving local firemen and police officers chance to uh work with me so big supporter if you didn't know that blue and red line but yeah now we are headed back to the dfw area to see what's going on i don't do this very often but i've got a complaint cc's pizza you've let me down i just tried to call in and order a pizza from cc's because I have not eaten CC's in forever to try and get a half Olay, half barbecue pizza. An Olay, if you don't know, is the taco pizza. It is so good. Little did I know, CC's does not have the Olay pizza anymore. That is just sad. I miss it already. My mouth is watering thinking about it. My fat is jiggling. Oh, I wanted some taco pizza. Oh. It is what it is. Might have to try to make my own, it, but it will never be as delicious as CeCe's Taco Pizza. Let's take a moment and respect to Taco Pizza that is now gone. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come along. Welcome back to the studio. Sorry if I look all like a zombie. I just woke up and started to edit this video and realized, hey, I didn't end the video and announce the winner of the Rod and Reel. So the winner of the Rod and Reel is Mr. Darren Freshour. Chosen at random. Irish spring soap. I need a fishing setup so bad. LOL. Hashtag team chicken strip. Congratulations, Mr. Darren. Email me and I'll get it sent your way. As far as the weekend goes, Saturday 
today you'll be watching this i've got something pretty cool planned instagram paid gun page reached out to me and said hey i got a friend you want to go down and shoot some sbrs and some suppressors and stuff and i said yeah why wouldn't i my brother I'm gonna go down and be able to shoot some bad to the bone firearms hopefully so that should be pretty cool so stick around to see that sunday morning and then sunday shooting competitions planned just some some fellow stuff might have a surprise guest on sunday so stick around for that and i got another surprise for you check it out remember that glock i was talking about Watch Glock 43, 9 millimeter, new member to the family. Uh, isn't it beautiful? It's just so beautiful. 43, Glock 43, Cerakote finish. I love that Cerakote slide, man. I'm going to get a lot more of my Glocks done like that. This is just beautiful. Glock 43, 9mm, 6 round magazine, extended mag, because if you, as you can see, my hand doesn't quite fit on there, but I'm not a, I'm not a fan of subcompacts or compacts or anything like that. But this one right here, man, it just feels good. I know I can just drill some targets with this thing. And this is going to be, I'm going to have my EDC, which is going to be on my hip or my shoulder holsters. This is going to be my backup backup. But you'll never know where I'm carrying this. It's not going to be anywhere normal. It's going to be my hidden gem, just in case. So, yeah, that's why it's so small. I, w I wouldn't normally just carry this. I just, I don't like 9 millimeters, as you know. But as a backup backup, it'll do nicely. As in tradition on this show, comment below to name the little baby right here. Glock 43 9mm Cerakote Top Tradition and you win the lock that came with it. Just like old Alamo Joe win the gun lock signed or unsigned or out of the bag signed whatever you want. Comment below what you think it should be named. I don't really have a name for it. I go with no name but I'll let you guys decide. Like I said, exciting stuff for the next two days. I'm pretty pumped about this trip down, do some shooting with SBRs and suppressors. And as always, I love you, and we'll see you tomorrow, big chickens.